Today we're going to review the standard operation of a 5% neutral salt spray cabinet according to ASTM B117. The ASTM B117 specification calls out the operating parameters and the equipment parameters for the cabinet and how those parameters should be monitored and how the cabinet is run. It does not address the types of specimens to be tested or the duration of the test or the interpretation of test results. Uh, it is just to ensure that running the cabinet is consistent from one cabinet to the next so results can be repeatable and they can be representative of the corrosion testing that you're trying to maintain. First we have our uh, salt spray reservoir which contains 5% neutral salt solution and deionized water. It's very important with the salt that's being used in your cabinet to make sure that it is a very high purity uh, salt. It can contain no anti-caker. It should have less than 0.3% by weight impurities less than 0.3 parts per million copper, and less than 0.1% chloride as, as, as a general rule. Um, there's more information on the specs for the salt and the making up of the salt solution in the B117 specification. So once we have the, the salt solution filled in the cabinet, uh, that salt solution is fed into the cabinet and is aspirated over the parts that are being uh, tested. The aspirated solution is drained from the bottom of the cabinet and is not reused. Um, you'll see a bottom drain later on when we open up the cabinet. The top of the cabinet has a peaked shape to ensure that droplets of salt solution are not dropping directly on the parts that are being tested. Uh, that's for drainage. Next we're going to look at the uh, air saturation tower. And what we monitor here with the air saturation tower is two things. We look at the tower temperature and we look at the pressure within the, the tower. And what this does is it helps us maintain an even fog within the cabinet. Um, tower temperature today here on our cabinet is 120 degrees. Typically, tower temperature runs between 114 and 121 degrees. Spray pressure today is 16, and our pressure range is typically 14 to 18. The tower temperature runs a little hotter than the internal temperature of the cabinet simply because there is a cooling when the uh, salt solution is aspirated. So it has to be a little hotter going in to maintain the internal cabinet temperature, which is typically 95 degrees optimally, but a range of 92 to 97 degrees Fahrenheit is standard. Today our cabinet is running at 96 degrees. So let's take a pause right now so we can open up this cabinet and we'll talk a little bit about collection rate. Collection rates are another test that needs to be run for your salt spray cabinet and collection rates should be done on a daily basis. Uh, what the spec calls out is that you collect both near and far from the aspirator. The aspirator is an acrylic uh, nozzle that's basically located at the bottom of this tube and the salt solution is delivered out from underneath this cone. Um, so your collection rates are near and far from the aspirator and you put the, the apparatus in the cabinet which is simply a graduated cylinder topped with a plug and a four inch plastic funnel. After 16 hours you read the amount of salt solution that has been collected. In our FAR apparatus we've collected about 19 mils of salt solution and in our NEAR apparatus we've collected approximately 21. To be in spec, you should be collecting between 1 and 2 mils per hour. So in our case, our cabinet is, is generating a uniform fog, and that fog is dense enough to give us a consistent 1 to 2 mil per hour collection rate. Now with this solution that we've collected, we also perform two more tests. We check the pH of the collected solution uh, using a standardized pH meter and the range for the pH should be 6.5 to 7.2. That's to ensure that the salt fog is indeed neutral in pH. The second test that we perform 
is a check for the concentration of the salt using a hydrometer and we check the specific gravity. Specific gravity range should be 1.025 to 1.040. If the specific gravity falls within that range, we indeed know that our salt solution is 5% by volume. So in summation, there's lots of operating parameters that have to be monitored on a daily basis in order to ensure that you're running your cabinet according to the ASTM B117 specification. It starts with the purity of your salt solution. You need to monitor the temperature of your tower as well as the internal cabinet temperature, spray pressure, collection rates, pH of the collected salt solution, and the check on the concentration or specific gravity of the collected salt solution. Uh, it seems like a lot of work, but this is what we need to do to ensure that if I run a test here in Springfield, Massachusetts, and you run one at your place, we can get very similar results.